What up? This is Rama Screen covering movies, TV, and entertainment, and here's my review of Netflix series Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous Season 3. Hey, before you watch my review, please subscribe to my channel, press that like button, ring that bell so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please do so at patreon.com slash ramascreen. That's patreon.com slash ramascreen. Let's rock this. First up, I would like to say thank you to Netflix and DreamWorks Animation for granting me the screeners to this entire new season. They've asked me to not spill spoilers, therefore this review is spoiler free. I repeat, there are no spoilers in this video review. Oh my god, if it's not obvious already, I freaking love this show! You've watched my previous review of season 1, and you've watched my previous review of season 2, and now let me tell you, if you thought season 1 and 2 were thrilling, boy you ain't seen nothing yet. Wait till you get a load of this season 3. I've already watched all the episodes and it's like the writers know exactly how to get your pulse pounding. But not only the jumpy scares, they also find more ways to further explore the ups and downs of the campers friendship that go straight for the heart. From DreamWorks Animation, Universal Pictures, and Amblin Entertainment, executive produced by Steven Spielberg, Colin Trevorrow, and Frank Marshall, inspired by the Jurassic World franchise, Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous follows six teenagers chosen for a one-in-a-lifetime experience at Camp Cretaceous, a new adventure camp on the opposite side of Isla Nublar. They must work together to survive when dinosaurs wreak havoc across the island. In this season three, still stranded on the island, the campers uncover more details of Dr. Wu's secret research and must quickly take their fate into their own hands with a dangerous plan to leave Isla Nublar behind for good. But when a tropical storm delays their departure, a lethal new threat quickly closes in on the campers, placing their escape as well as their lives in extreme peril. Is this new season an improvement? Compared to the previous two, my answer to that question is I enjoy all three of them. I know, I know, it's not a decisive response, but hey, what can I say? I'm a big fan. Without giving too much away, this season three mightily continues this show's ability to wow you with a sense of awe wonder, while at the same time not holding back in terms of danger and terrifying terror, due to the fact that these kids are out in the open, vulnerable to any carnivore dinosaur lurking around every corner. In this season three, Darius, Ben, Yaz, Sammy, Brooklyn, and Kenji attempt to leave the island instead of waiting for rescue that never comes. Of course, their effort doesn't go far, but Persistence is their middle name. The writers masterfully did a balancing act between the dino threat and the character-driven moments. There are episodes in this new season where they just focus on giving the kids some downtime or some reward for a job well done. And just when you thought that by now, the kids or the campers are all one tight-knit click working in tandem all day every day. Some of them still go through self-realization journeys about themselves and about what they mean to each other. These may be teenagers, but their situations force them to think maturely and behave responsibly like grown-ups. And so the confrontations between them are just as appealing as getting chased by the dinosaurs. It's a process that's revealing and complicated. I know what you all want me to talk about. Are there new dinosaurs in this season 3? Well, I'm not allowed to share with you the details about E750. That is something that you'll have to find out for yourselves. But I'll tell you this much. As monstrous as these new dinosaurs are, equally fascinating are the old familiar dinosaurs expressing new characteristics. And you also get to see the kids or the campers interact with these old dinos in strange but really, really cool ways. That's the part of this show 
the appreciation for life that I guarantee will never cease to amaze you. Season 3 also has a very peculiar way of connecting itself to the events in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. But more awesome than that, it has a brilliant way of connecting itself to, hmm, how shall I put it, to the nostalgia past. I can only speak in cryptic so that I won't get in trouble. But simply put, if you have loved this franchise from the very beginning, including Michael Crichton's book, Season 3 has a ton of fan service elements for you. A bucket full of them. Season 3 is more intense. It's more frightening. It's more electrifying. It gets extra scary this time around. So just a heads up there. But it's also heartfelt and exhilarating and sweet. And there are shades of these kits that will earn your newfound respect for them. I don't think I'm alone when I say I do not want this show to ever end.